Okay, welcome back. We just have a couple more things to finish up here. So the idea here is if in fact this point, negative four, positive four, is lying on our circle with a center at zero, zero, then the radius is six. Confirm, prove, or disprove. Well, I figured out using the Pythagorean theorem that this would be four and that would be four, but the radius would not be 36, or excuse me, six. The radius would not be six. In fact, it looks like it would be the square root of 32. So if I did take four squared plus four squared, I'd get 16 plus 16. And that's our hypotenuse squared, right? But here we're calling our hypotenuse our radius because it gives us more meaning. So our radius here, if in fact the center is at zero, and if in fact that point is lying on that circle, it would not be six. It would be the square root of 32. So using our online calculator, the square root of 32 is 5.65. So 6 is pretty close, but not quite. 5.66 would be our radius, not 6. So we've disproved that because 4 squared plus 4 squared is not 36. It's 32. Okay. Now here's another one. It says the point lies on a circle centered at that point. Okay. So once again, if you had a point, negative four, negative one, there's the center. And another point, negative one, positive two. Okay, that's on our circle. So that's the center and that's on the circle. And I just made a little sketch of the both the points. The center is at negative four, negative one. And a point on the circle is negative one, positive two. They've just told me about this radius again. That's my radius. And they're claiming that the radius here is three times the square root of two. So if I had graph paper, I could probably tell you how far apart these are and use the same kind of idea here. It was easier here because we started at the origin. So I knew this went back four, up four. Here, I'm at the point negative four on my grid. And here I'm at the point negative one on my grid. So it looks like these are three apart. Um, here I'm at positive two in my y, right? And I'm at negative one in my y. And so it, again, it looks like these are three apart, okay? So again, if you can't use graph paper, you can use the distance formula because that is the distance between these two points. And if it's the distance, we can call that our radius. And we can use this formula. So maybe pause the video and try to find the distance between the points and then see if you got it right. The x values, if I subtract them, negative one minus a negative four squared, the y values, if I subtract them, 2 minus a negative 1 squared, that'd be negative 1 plus 4. Ooh, so it was 3. And again, if we think about it, the number negative 1 and negative 4 really are 3 away from each other. And now here, 2 minus a negative 1 would be 2 plus 1. And that's three as well. So our picture was correct and we've just confirmed that. So the radius of this circle would be nine plus nine and take the square root or the square root of 18. Oh, so I'm not sure what this means, but this is what we got as our radius. And I have to either prove or disprove it. So I have to either prove, like I did last time, that these are um, not equal to each other. And a calculator is a good way to do that. So if I take the square root of 18, I get the decimal 4.24, okay? So 4.24 is my radius. 
Now if I type in, they're claiming the radius is three times the square root of two. So I kind of need to know what the square root of two is so that I know what the heck I'm um, multiplying the number three with. So I kind of need to know what the square root of two is. Let's figure that out. Okay, so the square root of two is 1.41. Okay, so three times 1.41 is what they're claiming is the radius. And if I multiply that number in my calculator by three, ooh, I don't wanna do it inside of there. Careful. You need to multiply the square root of two by three. Ooh, I got the same number, 4.24. So in fact, that's another way to write the number, the square root of 18, is the same as 3 times the square root of 2. Those are exactly the same thing. So I have proven. Great job, guys. See you in class.